Tree of Skill. I have five to spend this time. We can make some serious progress if I wanted to. Class 2 Assassin. I mean, I gotta get the next whip grade, right? In case we lose track. What's the current one do? That is class 1. Okay. Class 3. That, that, oh yeah, they get, they get expensive fast, don't they? So, I have 5 to spend. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I can't, I can't go all the way to class 3 whips, but there's not necessarily a reason to yet either. I should probably buy the next rank of whips so that I can just know that I'm ready to upgrade to them when I get the opportunity. And let's point, get a button, let's get a point of dexterity. Because that's what my attack scales with. Seems like a reasonable thing. And endurance affects my equip load, which and it also gives me access to two more dexterity points over here, which is good. So I think I want to go in that direction. And I think endurance equip load is good, because I, I, I think we're going to be... The fact that my equip load's green right now... Oh wait, no, that's just saying that it's gonna get bigger. Never mind. That's just sh so showing what stat's gonna get better. But, uh... Yeah, it goes up by 1.5. Weird, it says it'll, it says it'll give me one point, but it actually goes up by 1.5. But anyway, uh... I think upgrading endurance is reasonable, because equip load being low is probably a part of... Uh, endurance? That's probably part of your movement speed, I think. I think I've already seen hints of the idea. There's another point of dexterity right there, which is good. I think I've already gotten hints at the idea that, uh, that if you get too heavy, it could mess with your movement, just like in Dark Souls. Alright. Toral's now level 13. Interesting. When you highlight these things, it says that you can put... When you highlight these things, it says that you can get an extra point of dexterity. I wonder if you can invest more points into the same spot. Maybe I'll check that out next time. Alright. Hello. New guy. Need a hand? Talk. I can bring you to any sanctuary you visited. Oh, cool. You just have to describe your destination to me and I can get us there. We have a fast travel. That's pretty cool. When we travel, I don't quite know how we get uh, how we get there, even if I know where we're going. This island draws things out of people. Strange things. I see a small statue on the altar. It looks a bit like me. Did it call me here? I feel like that makes sense somehow. We can go anywhere. Anywhere but home. Yep, that's what he says from that point on. So I can use this to travel between locations. What does he sell? A calling horn. Sounded to travel to any sanctuary with a guide in it. In it. Oh. So if I use that, I'll travel to a sanctuary location. It only costs 100, which is unusually cheap. I'll just buy one to have it, I guess. It's cheap. Don't know if it's single-use or multi-use. Travel. <laughs> it, it, it says how many times you've been to each place, tells you what upgrades there are. Apparently there's only four in the game. Oh wait, no. The statues are different from one to, from one to the other. What does that mean? Can you only put certain upgrades in there? That's interesting. But the first one's black on this one, but... I'm not sure what to make of that. I guess we'll find out over time. But it says how many times you visited each location. And you can just travel between them, I suppose. Don't think I have a lot of reason to go backwards right now. Stay safe. Swords, shields, mail, and plate. If you need it, I can craft it. Back home, we'd forge fine instruments per, uh, of pure living steel. That's the same dialogue as before. Oh yeah, I can upgrade. Oh, wait, does he have better items, though? Self-bow... Looks like the same items. Shields again, and yeah, just cotton. I could upgrade my bow, though. That seems reasonable. What's, what does it take to upgrade your cloak? It also requires a lock of hair. I might as well upgrade my cloak. That seems like the, mo the biggest investment. For better defense. Or I could... Nah. First of all, how much does it cost to upgrade my bullwhip again? Oh. That's not too bad. Okay. Maybe I should go collect some more dust and come back and upgrade my whip again. It'll cost me 500 to do that. Self bow, 250. Alright, I can afford that right now and it cost me one lock of hair. Should probably upgrade my, my other weapon too. Alright, self bow. Now I should grab some arrows. You don't sell arrows, do you? No, you don't. Oh, I know this is the upgrade screen. My bad. 
I'm just dumb. No, he doesn't sell arrows, does he? That's the normal vendor. All right, maybe we'll we will try traveling around a little bit. Hey, buddy, let's try this little mechanic you have. The Shivering Shore. What, a draw chalk door on the wall? All right, well, this makes it easier to... So once you have that guy available, it makes it easier to get your re resources when you need them. Get some more flame arrows. Just seems like a decent investment, frankly. The burning over time. A lot... In a lot of games, people, there's t there tends to be enemies that are weak to fire. There we go. 30 arrows. I also had normal arrows, I guess. Alright. Downside is, I think there's no clean way to get back, is there? So I'm back at the beginning of the game now. Alright. Shouldn't be that big of a deal to try to get back, though. Let's see if I can get 500 uh, salt along the way. Oh, was I right? Is the knight gone? I don't see that knight. I think he's gone. Hey, buddy. Right, come on over here. Oh, shit. Yeah, they don't fall for their own trap, apparently. But hey, that, uh, yeah, that knight's gone. Unless he patrolled somewhere else. Alright, let's do some more exploring of this region, then. Because clearly I found my way directly to the boss fight, apparently, without much exploring, exploring along the way. It's too bad he can't whip up. Although that might be totally outside of what a whip is supposed to do. That's a doorway over there. Can I jump to it? Nope. Uh, can't jump on a ladder. Nope. That was a bad idea. Go for a little bit of healing. Let's get that... that yeah, I'll keep the Blessed Page available in case I think I need it. I think that's more of an exit than an entrance up there. It's an, oh, hello. Ow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That one. Oh! The trap. There was still a trap to activate after all that. Alright, the blood went. That could have gone significantly better. So good job me for totally nailing it. By which I mean not at all nailing it. Hey, buddy. What you, what you hiding up here, huh? Potato. Bell of Return. Can't jump up there, but there's an item. So I'm very much interested, interested in figuring out how to get up there. Man, these are sneaky. There's a little post right here that had a, a thread on it. The, the wires, that the trip wires, they're hard, they're hard to spot. That's sneaky. Let's get the gold. What? Can't help but wonder why there's there's gold to pick up from a uh, <laughs> from crossbow traps. Potato, a potato from the earth, offers no healing benefit, but can certainly be thrown at foes. I assume it's a distraction, like a pebble. Like you can draw one towards you. There's another one of those guys. All right, let's test the blessed page, like I was suspecting, and see if it helps me out with this guy. Oh yeah, he's taking significantly higher damage. And he's not really even fighting back right now, but oh god. Oh yeah, there's a big difference right there. Oh, watch out. Oh yeah, that was comical by comparison. Yeah, all you have to do is have a giant supply of blessed pages all around you all the time. No big deal, right? Conduit of the mind. Bound of extreme focus. It allows its wearer to maintain spellcrafting ability past the point of normal exhaustion. Locks minimum stamina to one-third of stamina. Locks minimum stamina to one-third of stamina? What does that mean? Does that mean I can never go past one-third stamina? No? I don't know. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, can you perm- Oh yeah, the top of my stamina meter is reduced just like my, uh... Just like my health is. So it means that I can't get lower than that much stamina. But if my stamina is getting that low, I'm in some serious trouble already for a number of reasons, really. So let's just avoid getting in that situation in the first place if I can. A stone leader. Alright. Oh! So we got ourselves another figurine for when we get back to where we were. Wonder if we'll get there soon. I have no idea where the other door was leading to. I never checked it. I? Have I been here before? No? I'm down here now, okay. What's in here? 
The Kuriamoa. What is... What are you? Oh, Kirimoa? A two-handed sword first carried by the Highland clans of Dor Isle. I think that's where my character's from. But now widely popular throughout the continents owing to its versatility and relative ease of use. Its unpretentious design emphasizes function over form in a humble testament to the virtues of simplicity. It requires... Oh, it's a class one greatsword, right. I was looking for, cla for stat requirements, but this game doesn't have... Oh, uh -oh. ow. At least as far as I can tell, I don't think this game has stat requirements. What's that on the floor? Is that gonna do something? Huh, there's a dark spot. Where is this gonna lead me to? Oh, hey! Look where I am. Well, I got the 500, uh... Spirit I was hoping for. Uh, salt, I mean. Now I can go upgrade my... Weapon again. My locks of hair. So it says 9... It says, uh... 9.6 to 17.0. There we go. I was getting misled that by thinking that one number was becoming the other one, but that's my my damage range is 8.8 .8 to 15.4, and it's going up to 9.6 to 17.0. Still, a, still an upgrade. Still, still plenty noteworthy. If, that, if I were to complain about something in this game, it would definitely be the fact that when you're looking at stats for things, it doesn't seem to show you the before and after, so it's hard to tell what effect you're having on something without taking a, mo a moment to switch between menus, basically. But it's doable. Alright. I think we took out one of those knights, which is good. I guess we'll just keep exploring. There's a lot of different directions I could go in. I'm sure I have a lot of, uh... I know I have loose ends still around here. I don't know... If Ooh! Well, now I know what that is. That was a dick move. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go heal. Actually, let, let's go back the other way. There were some paths around town that I never explored. Hello. So I got to the boss fight through here, right? Stop that. Oh, hello. Oh, shit, I didn't even see that guy. Sneaking up on me. Just trying to figure out what loose ends I might might have left behind. Did I go through here already? Ow! Yeah, I remember that now. Uh, I've got a sterling memory right now. Good job, me. There's another trap. Yep. So what have I left behind? There's these guys up here. Right. I'm missing something, because this is the front entrance again. Ow. Rude. So I went I went to the right a moment ago. So what I'm a little confused by is what am I missing here? How is the sanctuary right here? Okay, sorry, I'm trying to figure out, did I... Did I lose track of the structure of this whole place, or did the game itself change its structure? Oh wow, 1200 to ascend next time, okay. I'm just trying to think, I fought the Queen of Smiles somewhere. When did that happen? I thought there was a whole castle on the left. Oh, that must have been... Okay, the, hello trap. I guess that must have been up... That, mu that must have all been up here then. My mistake. Let's jump past this real quick. Actually, trigger it real quick to kill that guy for some free souls. Yeah. Alright, back in here. Yeah, now I remember. Sorry, I just got disoriented. Ooh, good job, buddy. Proud of you. Ow. Ow. I apparently got a little too used to that guy, the idea of that guy spending time slamming the ground over and over again. Oh crap! Crap, I didn't even see that guy. I gotta be really careful. The dark is, the game's just dark enough that I look at a certain parts of the screen and be like, oh, there's my health, and there's the bad guy down there, let's try to avoid him, and stuff like that. And then suddenly there's a little guy coming out of the ground or something attacking me. I'm just gonna go past this guy real quick. Is there an item over here? Anything cool? Come on, man, you can show me. Oh, that's how you get that item. That, this one. A stone cleric. Alright. 
the chance to collect st sanctuary upgrades. I don't trust that uh, leap of faith. I think I would just fall to my doom if I went there. Let's see. I don't currently have any holy items, so it's going to be quite a ordeal to fight this guy. But I feel like I should take him out. Uh, maybe not. Ow, dick. Yeah, that's not... Fighting them without a holy item is dumb. Because he, he took comical amounts of damage when I had a holy item. And, and, oh! It's taking no damage now. So clearly, if I want to kill that guy, I should just come back later. Because it's just going to be a chore. Alright, let's try to press forward then. Alright, let's call in our stone cleric. And our leader. What's the leader do? Uh... Small stone figure of a, in the form of a spirited leader. Offer the stone leader to an altar to summon a leader to the sanctuary. Grant salt bonus. Alright. Did I have one of those before? I actually don't remember. I wonder, if there, if there is only four slots, I guess you're making a decision about how you want to customize these places that might have downsides if they give you more options elsewhere. Don't know how many options they give you, though. That might, those might just be the four that are local. I'm just gonna spend some salt real quick so I can level up. That's a cool tree icon that shows up. Okay. I can probably buy, like, dexterity or something. Yeah. Bam, more attack, just like that. And no more, not nearly as much salt to worry about accidentally losing. Hello, traveler. What have you done for us? It is my job to lead us in this place of darkness and doubt. Slay monsters and spread our influence, and we'll take good care of you. Alright. Work? What? Is th what is this? Drown our soldier's ear. Ashes. Whisperman's ashes. It looks like you're supposed to collect... There's a tree icon. I don't know. There's a tree icon, so maybe that gives you a level up? If you get these items, like three drowned soldier's ears. Do I have three of those yet? I can't turn it in. Let's see. Keep it up. Let's see here. D d I thought I had ears. Rotten Walker's ears. I have drowned archer's ears. That's frustrating. I have, I have specifically stuff that isn't there. Oh, right. You can exchange items with the leader. That's what they were talking about. When we got the boss kills. So if I collect certain things, we can bring them here for a reward. One tree icon. Whatever that means. Maybe it's a level up? That's not necessarily shown as a tree. There's no tree here either. There's light and dark icons. These voids or whatever. Let's see. If I go really far away, does a dark one show up? I don't currently see one. This tree goes on for a while, too. What about the center parts? Now, everywhere I scroll, I only see the purples. Huh. When you own something on here, it has the tree icon. Wonder what that means. Anyway. We can go ahead and continue on from here. We've got a, we've got a, a growing population around here. So when I was backtracking through, I realized... I think I went straight a, a straight here when I saw the ladder, and I was like, yes, I found my way out. So let's try to explore a little bit around here. And keep an eye out for those damn traps. Hey everyone, how you doing? Oh cool, this place seems friendly. I'm definitely not going to get munched by a Cthulhu monster or anything. Oh cool, there's a there's an underside of the stairs. Ne next I'm going to find out I'm on an, an, I'm in inverted gravity or something. Oh, a human. Oi, Traveler, well met. Call me Fern. I've been hiding out here for... some time. See any trinkets? I lost a small pouch of earth. You need a bag of earth to say yes. Okay. Shame. What's this? A war horn and a bundle of salt? And a shortcut to somewhere? Oh, this is a new place. Does it have a name? No zone name. There's an item, but it's up in a tree. We'll keep this, this place in mind. Let's try to finish the zone I'm already kind of exploring. Get that torch lit back up. Let's see where this takes me. Deeper into the abyss. Oh, another door. A haymaker. 
Ooh, that's probably a dex item. Guess we'll find out, huh? Can I use it? I cannot. Uh, Haymaker. A tool intended for mowing grass and harvesting crops, but often modified for fighting by the destitutes and the wicked alike. Distinct among agricultural devices as a universally recognized symbol of death, and indeed a capable makeshift weapon with its razor edge and an unmistakably fearsome silhouette. Oh, E scaling with strength and dexterity, so it's not like not quite the uh, whole Dark Souls approach to scythes with their really high uh, dexterity scaling. Pretty high attack, it looks like. We need to have Reaper as a weapon type. Might be good for it might be good as a stat agnostic weapon. Got more salt, and there's a big enemy over there. 